I should. Okay, warning. This is going to be a warning for all you people. If you do not like high tech, okay. If you do not like nerds or any nerdy thing that's super, well, to be honest, just to say nerdy, then please leave this video, give it a pass, and wait until something else pops up. Maybe, who knows, maybe there'll be a jock thing. Or a sports thing for all your sportsy people. Or a reading thingamajiggy. I don't know, but this is a nerd physics thingamajiggy. So please have a, this warning and take it carefully. If you do like nerd stuff, I like you. Good job. Um, best friends, BFFs, yeah. Only BFN. Best friend nerd. Yes. Alrighty, so let's start. Okay. Hey <clears throat> him. Hello people, my beloved here, and welcome to a nerd thing. That is right. Now if you didn't take that warning, then oh I'm glad I'm glad that either you are a nerd like me or you're expanding your wings. Which is kinda weird. But okay. So if you're wondering about this car Um well hold on. I stole it from some people, but you don't need to tell them that. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good car. It's got quite a lot of hearts. In fact, I'm not sure why, but... Because they were tough people. So I just put a skull on it, some lasers, to show that, you know, it's cool. So, basically... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I've added some stuff, some high-tech. And today, we're talking about nerdy things. So, first off... Um, well, this, we're going to start off with the basics, such as this. Uh, tilting, basically. Now, also, little thing, um, I don't know that much about physics, so if I say something wrong, please don't trust me and correct me. Like, I'd love to learn some more things about physics. It's just stuff that I'm pretty sure is correct, so. Um, so basically, you can go through walls if you run super fast. Now, I'm a joke, you know, I... Guess what? I actually went through a wall yesterday. Like, I'm not choking. Choking, how's that? Choking, I'm not choking. But yeah, so, you better know about lift if you're, well, let's just say, the first grade! Okay, so basically, I've got these hoverballs. And if I make the hoverballs go in the front, I tilt upwards. Go down, I tilt down. But it's only in the direction that they're moving. Do the same over here, tilt up. Down, up, down, you know, simple. You even yourself out and you're good, good job. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I probably missed like 20 billion things, but, um, to be honest, come on, that's kind of simple, right? Eh, you dumb heart! I'm pretty sure this is meant to the Queen of Hearts, maybe. Up, oh, and it's hit a wall. Also, while we're talking about this, um, there's friction. Now, if you've seen uh, maybe a Bill Nye or a Magic School Bus, I mean, that's how I learned friction in the first grade. But yeah, um, then you probably know about friction if you don't. And you're not in the first grade. You gotta learn some stuff first off. Now, why isn't this... Okay. Okay. Up. Up. I said up. Up. Also, I am doing this in Gmod, so maybe some things won't apply to physics since this doesn't have the greatest physics engine. But yeah, so this was friction. Okay, hold on. So, let's... They usually people do test on friction on a baseball field, so let's go out to the grassy areas. Let's do some friction. Baseball fields are usually the best, but we're just going to use grass. Okay, now I didn't already prepare myself for this, so... Okay, so this is our radio thing. This is our dishwasher. Okay, it's a nice dishwasher. If I push it, it'll stop. But, let's say I wanted it to move on longer. That means lower friction. Friction is when something will stop, such as so. I mean, that's just because of me. Look at this car, okay? If I'm about to go this, it will stop. Because that's friction in action. This, without any friction, it will just go on forever. That's why they usually do it in a baseball field. To be honest, I don't really know why, but just go with it. So let's say it's going to first base, it will pass first base. 
Okay, it can't turn. It needs somebody, it needs something to turn it for him. So I need to turn it. So I need to say, okay, go that way, but it's gonna keep going. Although this is an actual no friction, because I'm not sure if there's a way in Gary's Mod to say no friction. This is the best as I can get. Yeah, see, eventually it stops. That's friction. It just has very, very low friction. I can make it go super fast, and it's gonna keep that speed. That's basically friction. So without friction, some people think, I'm guessing friction's bad. Life would be so much, and it's under the sea. Under the sea, and uh, na nah. You see what I mean? It just keeps going. And usually if it had no friction, it would never stop unless something got in its way. Okay, now that's, that's physics. That, that's basic physics. Now, we've learned about lift, but do you know about... This? This? Okay, so you know, do you guys know how to make a thing tilt the way you want it to? Okay, now if you don't, and you're over the first grade. I'm gonna be doing that a lot because first grade's like when you learn a lot of basic physics, okay? I mean, at least for me. Now, let's say I want this to tilt over there. So, you guys probably think to shoot in the middle, you know, tilt over, tilt over. But I want it to hit, I want it to go exactly over. So if I, say you idiots. Yay, 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 yay. How long are we? Okay. Yep. Alrighty. So, to make you do that, if you want to make it tilt forwards, yeah, this is hard to explain, but let's get a bigger object. Like a fridge! So, basically, if I hit it in the top, you see how it goes the way I hit it. That's because, now this is when I'm probably going to say something wrong, basically your force is going only to the top. Which kind of makes it, it only moves the top. But once it moves, gravity takes action. And tries to move the thing that's tilted. Does that make sense? Probably doesn't. Okay. So, let's say, oh gosh, okay. You see, this is why Gary's mod can sometimes be a bit unrealistic. Let's say it's tilted like that. As soon as I let go, gravity is going to hurry and push the thing that's tilted. I'm pretty sure. Pretty dang sure. Well, it's going to push it all. But, the easiest thing to push is the one... It's tilted. Okay? So that way it goes woof. And that all started from me just hitting the very top. Because that top tilted, which meant gravity took place. And yeah. And it's the same with the side, basically. Want to shoot it to the left? You do the same thing. See? But yeah. So that's basically whatever that's called. Um, Stuff. Maybe Newton. He, he invented. Sir Isaac Newton did a lot of stuff. Wee. He's got a uh, discovered gravity, by the way, by an apple falling on his head, I'm pretty sure. He just, an apple falling on his head, just, ooh, ooh, that apple, it should stay up with the tree. That's probably not how he sounds, but pretend. Oh, I've banged my head. It kind of sounds like Gandalf when he's in, like, the Hobbit's home. Like, oh, I banged my head on you, tiny hobbits. You're so small. Sort of. So next, um, well, you guys probably know this as floating or sinking. Like when you're in the bath and you're like, I'm going to put my battleship in and it sinks. You're like, oh. Oh. How'd that happen? Well, that's buoyancy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's buoyancy. Pretty, like I said, I'll probably make some mistakes. So buoyancy. If I can't have a medium buoyancy in Gary's mod, it's just impossible to find. Buoyancy! So, buoyancy. So, let's see. <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure which is which, but I, this is what I think. High buoyancy is floating, low buoyancy is sinking. So, buoyancy... the heck? The collision box is way off. Like I said, Gary's mod's physics can sometimes break. Oh! Stopped. Okay. So buoyancy, basically. Buoyancy! Yeah! Try saying that a billion times. Buoyancy, 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 but okay, it sounds weird. So basically, let's say I wanted to build a cool ship in Gary's mod. So it's like, it's completely made out of fridges. Like, hold on. Hey, look at this. Oh, look. It's my amazing ship of awesomeness. And it took me 
like seven years to make. Okay, I spent so long. I hope it floats. See that because weight mass also basically the more mass it has for all you people that isn't in the first grade. Oh, nobody who's in kindergarten or failed first grade um, watching that. This because they're not gonna understand a single thing. But then you get skip grades, maybe. Physics, no. Thank you. Okay, so, mm, so basically, mass is like weight. Although for y'all, you kids, um, let's say I'm 120 pounds on Earth. I go to the moon, and now I'm like, I don't know how to tell, but let's just say I'm 30. Let's just say I'm 30, okay? And I'm 30 pounds, and I go back to Earth, and now I'm like. 110 just because I lost a few pounds on my way. Okay, it's it's just it's math. Okay, it's confusing I don't even know how you really uh, Determine how much weight you have on the moon when you're on earth but I'll learn that pretty soon like why don't I use Google? No, no, no. Actually how far are we 11 minutes we gotta finish up soon. Oh, yeah, that's there Okay Oop, Burped a bit. Sorry Okay, so basically, and mass never changes. Your mass will always stay the same no matter how much gravity is on any other planet. Because gravity determines weight, by the way. I'm pretty sure. So, yes. Ip, ip, ip. Okay, so, yeah. And mass will, the more mass you have, the more, um, the lower buoyancy you have. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Like I said. So, these must have, like, if I'm correct, these have small mass. Okay, they've got really small mass, but because mass is also determined by density, which is, uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure mass is determined by density, I told you it's going to get confusing, and certain metals in the periodic table, I told you it's getting really weird now, if I'm correct, then A plus to me, in math. Okay, and some metals have higher density, which creates higher, higher mass, even if it's super small, like this bucket. And there you go. And even a tin can, maybe. Or a frying pan. You think, oh, that's going to float because it's small. Well, mass. But maybe its density is high. Okay? Is that, this is basically, uh, screw it. You guys probably, you probably lost everybody. Okay? Okay. I'm with everybody now, right? Good. Just uh, shut that for fun. Okay? Just for fun. Okay. Oh, shoot. I was going to talk about something. What was it? So we were talking about buoyancy, mass, I don't know. I lash my marbles, sort of. So that might just be it. I mean, uh, if you guys have learned some things, good job. Like, I'm proud of you. Like, A plus, thumbs up. Uh, good job. My favorite thing, finger, the thumb. Yeah. It's always good for a thumbs up, unless it's a thumbs down, and you know, that's great. So yeah, if you did learn, then good job, okay? Now go skip some grades. No, don't do that, please. Just don't. Don't. That's not, it can't be fun. I mean, I've never skipped a grade, because, um, let's just say I'm not smart enough to skip a grade, okay? But, come on, I mean, I bet some people can. I bet they're so smart, or their mom's like the, the um, the principal. And they're just like, Dad or Mom, can I just skip a grade? This is boring. Sure, why not, honey? And you are now in the fifth grade. If you get an F, we will kill you. Oh. Okay, but anyway, um, that's just about it. Hopefully you guys know the rest about stuff. If I did some things wrong, please correct me. And yeah, let's go to space! Da, 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 da. We're not going to space. Got no thrust, which is for another video. By the way, there may be some sports things by made by some of my friends that actually know stuff about sports. I'll probably just go like, okay, do some stuff. I've got all these games you can use. I use Gary's Mod for physics. Woo, upside down. Okay, and yeah. So, thank you all for watching. If you learned once again, keep learning. Okay, math is cool, guys. Math is cool. Don't let those, like, I don't know, what, what do you guys call them? Like, cool kids, you should say. Don't, don't let them touch you. I'll see you later. Bye!